Hello, Kimberly Walston here. Welcome to Insider's Health News, where we bring you the freshest happenings in the world of medicine without that quack propaganda. Today, we'll be talking about a man that could hear his own eyeball move and the rare problem that caused it. Toby Spencer didn't know what to do when he started to hear his left eyeball move around in his head. It was a new and disgusting bodily mystery that had him turning on a fan in any quiet room so that he wouldn't be distracted by the noisy look arounds. His voice and breathing were also much louder in his left ear, but there were bigger problems to come. Soon enough, if Spencer turned his head too quickly, it felt like he was falling sideways and loud noises would cause him to lose his balance. It was at this point that he decided to get checked out by a doctor, but no one could agree on what exactly was wrong. Some said tumors, aneurysms, even a jaw disorder or a lack of equilibrium in his blood pressure, but none were correct. It wasn't until he saw an online post from someone describing the exact same symptoms that he realized he had a rare condition known as superior canal dehiscence syndrome. If you're not completely up to date on your dehiscence lingo, it basically means opening or hole, as in there is a small hole in the bone covering the inner ear. But that hole, usually the size of a pinhead, can cause some serious damage. SCDS was discovered in 1998 by Dr. Lloyd Minor, a physician from John Hopkins. The interesting thing about this condition is how all of these symptoms can be connected to such a small out of the way problem. As for the sufferers, they usually opt to do nothing because after diagnosis, they just learn to live with this non-expanding issue. Toby Spencer wasn't the usual, however, and decided to have the hole plugged because he felt it was degrading his quality of life. This is a great example of a patient listening to their own body, especially since it was so easy to hear. That's it for this edition of Insider's Health News. I'm your host, Kimberly Walston, and remember, it's your health. We're just helping you think outside the box.